So I'm about to meet Sophia. She's gonna pick me up today. And today I'm starting the weekly vlog because we are doing something exciting actually. We are going to the ceramic place that we went on my birthday vlog. Do you guys remember? It was my first ceramic experience and I really loved it. It was a surprise for my boyfriend and actually Sophia came too. We really loved the place and it's so hard to find cute places in Porto. Let me just check what time is it. I don't want to be late. We are so late, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, we decided to try our luck and we texted the place after we left asking if they would be okay for us to be back and shoot because we really think it's a cool concept for an Instagram post. So we reached out and they were super sweet. They said it was okay, like the owner is super nice. So uh, we are now going there back today. We are going to do some kind of a mug, something just to have uh, while we do the photo shoot, but like the photos are the most important thing today So it's not all about ceramics, but we are still going to do something and the most exciting part is that we are actually going to pick up the things that we did on my birthday, so that's what I'm most excited about and I can't wait to see the pieces all wrapped up Super late girls on their way. Let's <laughs> hurry. So here's how I'm doing. I'm trying to make a mug and this will be a little thing that you hold that I don't know the name. And Sophia is doing a super avant-garde oh, oh, <laughs> piece. Thank you. thank you. So my inspiration for this was the spark and tissue we'll eat <laughs> later today. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the third artist we have here. Where is she? The she's most talented one. <laughs> she's outside, probably outside. She's outside. She needs to go and get inspiration. Outside. Yeah, she's very fancy. I'm gonna show you later. <laughs> So I just got home guys I'm thirsty I need to make sure to drink more water in 2022 It's one of my goals And I'm gonna show you the pieces So it was a very smooth day uh, We did the ceramic Then we went to lunch some pizza And we shoot a little bit outside not that much today I'm gonna show you the pieces I'm so excited so this one I made very crooked what I kind of like it is more you know wabi sabi the term like learn to love the flaws of everything so yeah I learned to love this <laughs> the goal is maybe to pour the milk or the coffee into the mug you know so it's cute isn't it it's not bad, it works, you can hold it, so happy with it. Next, it's the small plate and my idea here is for the plate to be the base to put a small mug that I did, like a shot glass almost, like an espresso mug, espresso cup, <laughs> on top. This one, this is the espresso shot cup. I'm not even sure if you can pour an entire espresso here. I think so, probably or sake <laughs> and you can put it on top and it's like this cord set <laughs> it's cord it's like i'm talking fashion this set for your espresso yeah they move around a little but my first time that's okay but it's like a, a small espresso set 
coffee set. All these pieces are from the first workshop we did there. So if you go there and you do a workshop, you're probably going to do like the first workshop, you're probably going to do something like this, small cup, small plate. And this one is the one you do with the pigments and it's actually my favorite because it's more raw. And as you can see, has a lot, I'm gonna show you better. Has a lot of different colors and irregular things and it's kind of crooked here and i really wanted to give it a more crooked shape there so i'm really happy with this one and this one for sure you can add like a bigger coffee inside so it's part of the set so yeah all these four pieces i did in the first workshop and today i did a mug a bigger one uh with a different technique as you could see on the footage like a different technique of just using like rolls of ceramic and uh, growing the piece up I don't know the terms but I think probably in about two weeks it's gonna be ready the mug that I did today so happy about that too So, as you probably noticed by the date here, it's been like three or four days since I was recorded like the day of the ceramic and it was because I got this cold <laughs> and I still have a weird voice right now and also a lot of problems with building my house. <laughs> Once again, don't recommend, I will chat with you in a minute about everything that it went through, but I'm with Sophia. Are you naked? <laughs> no, <'cause laughs> She's doing a TikTok today and she's working hard already with her makeup on, cute outfit while I'm still like this. So I'm going to be doing my makeup and replying to some uh, some of your questions that I asked you guys to drop on my Instagram stories while she's doing TikToks. <laughs> fun, fun. Yeah, I gotta make it productive while she works hard. So yeah, fighting Sophia. <laughs> So let's start this makeup. I'm waiting for some more questions, but I have a bunch already, so let's just start this. I'm gonna apply some moisturizer. This one actually came on a gift box from Luisa Viaroma. It's called Macrene. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. I'm actually shooting with Sophie in the afternoon, so I'm gonna do my everyday makeup that I do for shooting days. So first question is where you live in. Oh, my concealer is almost ending. I love this camouflage by Sense. This Sense is one of my favorites. If you hear the background sound going on and on and on, it's just Sophia's TikTok. You look good, don't change audio. So I love Essence brand. It's so like cheap, so economic, but good quality. So this one is almost ending. This one is kind of light for me, but I ordered it online, but I have another one that went too dark, so I just mix them basically. So where do I live in? I live in Portugal, which is a very peaceful country in Europe, <laughs> in case you don't know. And I really like living here. I live in this city called Porto, which is in the north. And it's not like the capital, but it's my favorite city here in Portugal. So yeah, I was born here. It's like the middle ground's not too hot, not too cold, and yeah. Not problematic basically <laughs> not too problematic at least you should come visit Porto I think it's a beautiful city it's not like don't expect to see like uh, London or Paris not that like crazy and evolved but it's a very beautiful city so you should come visit and I have this I want to live here but I want to spend like some months every year living abroad so that's my goal <laughs> so now I'm setting with a uh, NYX HD finishing powder and Sophia is getting ready for another outfit <laughs> she's going strong and uh, the next question how tall are you <laughs> how tall am I Sophia uh, 173 oh it's 173 or 174 but the lady <laughs> the last lady on my uh, black identity card she uh, actually wrote 172 
Yeah. Gucci. She said I uh, wore like chunky shoes, which is like what I wear every day. But even so, usually I'm 174. But I don't really care. She could take like the two centimeters for herself. I'm okay with it. <laughs> when I was in high school, I would rather be like uh, shorter, actually. Yeah, so I would same. stand out a lot <laughs> in school, so I never really wanted to be tall. But for like Portugal, it's actually pretty tall for a girl. And now I'm setting with Fenty Beauty, uh, what is this? Shady Biz. And uh, next question, what's your favorite book? So my favorite book is 1984 from George Orwell. And uh, I recommend everyone to read it. It's like this sci-fi, but not like too crazy sci-fi, okay? Something that really could happen in the future. And it's like this dictatorship that works like a big brother. That's like where the term big brother like was born. And it's basically a dictatorship so hard that they watch your every move, so highly recommend. I'm contouring my nose with the same bronzer <laughs> the word was like missing so next question is actually quite embarrassing because <laughs> it's what's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you and this like whenever I think of embarrassing <laughs> I think of this episode so I was in London visiting one of like the first times that I went to London and I was in Camden Town so Camden has those shops you could never been uh, very like alternative and stuff so they have a lot of shoe shops with a lot of chunky platforms like huge <laughs> platforms okay so I'm moving on to blush now this is the Stilazi uh, Barbados my favorite blush palette so I went to the shop and I love chunky platforms so I was Taking every boot and just checking the boots out, okay? The store was packed, no COVID back then, so it was packed and it was super small. And I I saw these huge platforms, really heavy, and I decided to just hold them, <laughs> to check them out. And as soon as I take the platform, maybe because it was so heavy, it was holding the entire structure <laughs> that had a lot of shoes, and it was glass. So as soon as I take them out, the whole structure falls and I become so embarrassed and it falls on top of this man that was just sitting there waiting for his wife to try shoes on. So it was the most embarrassing thing. People started to go to the man to see if he was okay and I, I just wanted to like jump on a hole basically and hide myself because it was super 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 embarrassing and I, I'm just like with a big shoe on my hand and everything fell apart. Oh my gosh, if I could erase that <laughs> memory. And no one really cared about me because they were super focused on the man, of course, that could be hurt. So um, I just eased <laughs> my way out of the store. Super embarrassed. I'm using this ColourPop highlighter, it's called Wisp. Just on the tip of my nose. All right, now I'm using the ZCX British Museum palette. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I use this every time and they have a lot of different covers. So this is the one. I always use this three brown shades and then the black one for the wing liner. So what's the most important thing for you in someone's style? I would say probably your uniqueness so what you can bring to the table and I feel like that's something you only discover when you try a lot of things so don't feel too pressured to have the answer right away like who are you and uh, what makes you unique I feel like you need to try a lot of things that you like um, a lot of references search a lot and then eventually you'll see all your outfits and it will click like what makes you you What's your favorite song? I hate this type of questions, you guys already know, because I can't choose like just one. It's so hard. I feel like, especially with songs, if I hear one a lot, I start to get annoyed. But I would say, if I can only pick one, that's so tough. Probably a uh, Self Control by Frank Ocean. But I don't know. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow will be different. So do you find learning Japanese difficult? 
yes <laughs> it's so freaking difficult because it's so different from uh my language portuguese and i feel like portuguese uh french uh italian english it's kind of language that all like share the same alphabet so it's so much easier for me to learn but japanese is totally different so i'm, I'm spending so much time just learning the letters and being able to pick the correct sounds and read because I, I don't want to just speak, I want to read the menus and stuff uh, when I eventually can enter Japan again that's my goal is to be able to ask for food because <laughs> food is everything what is your MBTI? oh my god I need to search because I have here on my screenshots <laughs> but I don't know I did this just a while ago it's INTP slash A <laughs> whatever this means but it says I'm 83% introvert <laughs> so I kind of agree I'm adding this really dark brown here at the edges in the corner of the eye before I apply the black as the cat liner have you ever been recognized as an influencer and how did it felt so actually this is very curious I don't really know why but before the pandemic uh, I used to shoot with Sophia a lot as well and no one came to us ever <laughs> And now lately, I don't know, maybe because uh, we also like grew a lot of followers uh, during this time but a lot of people have been reaching out uh, on the streets and it's kind of a weird feeling but I, I really appreciate it. I think both of us are kind of uh, a little shy <laughs> so sometimes we get a little awkward but we always appreciate it so if you ever see us on the streets don't be shy like us. <laughs> Just don't promise that we'll be like super outgoing, but we are usually very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and something funny too is that I'm doing Instagram for the longest time now, but sometimes people come to me on the street saying, oh my god, you're the girl from TikTok. <laughs> Which is actually funny, because TikTok, I only have it like for one year probably. I'm doing the cat liner with the powder, because I think it's so much easier. I have a video about this actually, only about eyeliner, so... You can check it out. Now the last stages of my makeup is actually the mascara and lipstick. Basically the only things left in the mascara that I love is the I Love Extreme from Essence once again. Where do you want to travel? So since the pandemic started it's been kind of hard to really plan trips and I have uh, this trip that I was supposed to do in 2020. Yeah. Um, that I'm now moving forward and forward trying to figure out when I can travel because I was going to be back in Japan and uh, together with like Korea I'm gonna do I was going to do both things in the same trip but now Japan is closed for the longest time so I think I'll probably this year will be able to go to just Korea alone South Korea uh, I'm really looking forward to because I never been and uh, I also wanted to do something probably I really wanted to go with my parents to uh, Mozambique again because it's my dad's birthplace so it's really exciting to visit the place where he was born and then I also want to do small trips through Europe a lot this year I think it's safer right now because with the pandemic everything is changing and if it's a long trip it's more I don't know I think it's uh, easier for it to get cancelled <laughs> and in Europe it's a little bit safe like all the countries have like similar rules and everything so yeah I don't know where exactly but I would love to visit a lot of cities in Europe I'm using the same um, mascara for my brows it's the easier way to do brows okay so only the lipstick is missing and since I can't talk while doing my lipstick, I'm gonna invite Sophia <laughs> to answer this question for me. <laughs> so the question is, how do you and Sophia met and how do you became friends? Okay, so basically I started following her on Instagram uh, and then I remember thinking that she was pretty cool and <laughs> I think I messaged her. Or maybe she did. I don't really remember, but yeah, I remember talking to you. Yeah, and then the we 
we realized that we were both from the same city and then we kind of just uh, scheduled a little date like a shooting, <laughs> a shooting date yeah and then we started like slowly to just uh, meet every week to shoot and I think that's where the friendship began <laughs> I don't really remember our outfits on the first like no. which outfits we shot first Me like neither. the first time and I don't remember like where we went to the first time. Like Me I, neither. I know what places we we used to go in the beginning. Yeah, but like the first first. Yeah, I don't really remember. But I remember that it was very easy to shoot together uh, on the first day. So yeah, we just realized we have the same job, so it would be easier to just work together instead of annoying people to take yeah, our pictures. That's true. Like both our boyfriends aren't like very. Happy with <laughs> yeah, happy with shooting us, and then like at least I'm in my experience there. I would always ask friends, but then I would feel bad because they would spend like their time, and yeah. even though they were helping me, they weren't like benefiting from the situation. But yeah. now we are friends and we help each other. Yeah, so. with the workload we have, if we didn't have each other, we would probably need to like pay someone yeah. to help us because. I would feel so bad for my friends to ask every day. Definitely, yeah. So I think it's easier this way and sometimes we do really cool duo pics that you guys like, so... That's sorry. <laughs> sorry. Now I think I answered everything. This is the last step of my makeup, which is the Nastasi Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in red. I adjusted the center and before I used the NYX Lingerie Push Up. This is the color Seduction. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically it. And we are going to shoot here. We haven't shoot inside in ages at home. So this will be uh, an adventure. I'm gonna take you with me after lunch. It's not a city or a movie. It's just us despairing. <laughs> so the plan to shoot at home went on the drain. <laughs> Because, uh, I don't know, maybe we should a lot. Is this, is that my voice really loud? I can't hear anything. It's a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, because music is playing. I hope <laughs> I don't get like copyright issues over this. But basically, maybe we shot a lot at home when we were in quarantine. And now, we just don't like the pictures. Maybe we are tired of them. Or we thought that we were going to like them, but we didn't. The lighting was shitty. Maybe it's the new phone. I don't know. Combination of things. So we decided to come here last minute. I'm tired. And shoot around this area with greens and stuff. We're trying our best, guys. So I'm already tired. We're going to try to shoot something really quickly here with the sunset. And hopefully, we can get ready in a few minutes. 